Good morning and welcome back. Today we have a uh, the installation of a chip on an OLED Nintendo Switch. We're going to be installing the NX Instinct, that one you see in the picture, along with these adapters. This is the version 6. And this uh, this one a customer sent in for installation on their Nintendo Switch OLED. We're going to be using these adapters here. I have already opened the Nintendo Switch. And we are going to get right to it. So we're going to go ahead and start by removing this case that protects the RAM and the CPU. case has been removed. Carefully remove the thermal paste from the CPU without knocking these capacitors. And now cleaning the CPU with a toothbrush. We use a bamboo toothbrush, but I'm sure anything will work. Not anything, but something with a light bristle. Now the CPU has been cleaned, especially those capacitors there. We go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece that we need to cut so that we can get access to the that point that we're going to solder onto. And we're going to scrape it off. carefully so we can solder onto it and tin it. Put a little bit of flux. We're going to go ahead and tin that so that we can prepare it for the adapter that we're going to solder on there. Hopefully you guys can see that that's uh, tinned on the on the left side. Now that we've done that, we turn it over. We're going to install install that that zero adapter on here real quick. Then we're going to cut this metal shield here. I use my fingers to remove this piece. If you rock it back and forth carefully, it easily comes out. Slide it in there carefully. That should be pretty good. We'll measure the, we'll take the measurement here after.
That's one side. That's the other side. Now we can read the O's. The measurement will be ground to ground and we're getting 750 wiggle it back and forth a little bit make sure it's soldered good still 750 678 so that's very good we're going to leave it at that turn it over and get ready for the adapter we're going to use this this one here you see in the picture the one i prev previously showed you guys and i like to start tinning this Let's put a little bit of solder on there so that they easily solder to where we want to solder them to. Okay, turn it over, line it up. That is good. We start by using this ground and fixing it in place perfect use a little bit of flux that's good That is good. And now for this point here, zoom in so we can get a better view. And I'd like to leave the solder there just a little bit so that it goes up, the heat goes or transfers all the way through the bottom. It looks very good. But let me take a measurement make sure that is it's good ground to ground and measuring D at this point and we're getting 670 so that's good I like to tin that C point because that's what we're going to use for the that zero like you see in the on the camera there and for the three volts like that next we do the CPU ribbon cable we're going to run it across underneath the metal shielding here all the way, line it up. And I like to press on the sides of the CPUs so that it kind of locks in place carefully. Not, I don't want to damage any capacitors there. That's one. And that is the second one. Get yourself some high quality flux. In this case, I'm using Amtec. And the brand is uh, NC 559 ASM. Let's go ahead and solder those points. We're going to start by securing that flex cable. And then the uh, CPU capacitors here, just carefully. Mm 
one, two, there's the other one. Finally, this one here. That looks good. Let's do this one a little more. Perfect. That's it, guys. Pretty much it's, it's done. Let me put some. We're almost there. We are going to have to cut this shielding here for so that we can access that piece. So let me take a some pliers here and cut it real quick. And I'm just using some In the future, I'll get a camera that we can, so that we, you guys can see a bigger, bigger view of uh, what, what I'm doing. I, I think it's, it's very, uh, you can use your imagination for now, but I'm just using some scissors and, uh, and that's it. Some pliers, I'm sorry. Some small pliers, this will do. If you can see them, there you go. Okay, now we have that piece shield here. We're gonna let's zoom out. We're gonna put it on here. We're gonna see that we have the other side here. Just got to make sure it's aligned properly so that kind of clicks. And we're just going to push right through these, these solder points that we did earlier. I'm not going to cut anything. We're just going to push it enough so that it kind of wraps around that solder. It's just ground. I'm going to go ahead and clean this area here, no fingerprints. And by the way, I did put some some uh, flux underneath the uh, CPU, okay, in that uh, copper area. So now that we do that, we get the chip ready. We I like to use double-sided tape. Like this and yes this is a little thick but it works just fine you can kind of stretch it as well so that it it, it, uh, it goes in thinner like this okay so I'm stretching it just and it's it bonds really good so it's it's amazing. Now that I did that we go ahead and I like to just turn these things over. Turn the motherboard over. Connect this side. Secure it. Turn it over. in place it's not going anywhere from there and now we just turn this CPU connector and put it underneath the uh, FPC connector and there it is now we have to do the B point which is the reset point
okay. I like to hold it in there so that it, the uh, wire shielding melts. Once I know that it's bonded and soldered, I simply grab some tweezers, sometimes even with my hands, and just wiggle it until it just kind of breaks, okay? And it'll look like this. Good. Finally, we're going to do the, the C point. For that, I like to use a very thin wire so that it puts less pressure on that that zero point and it's not pulling on it at all. That uh, gives me more peace of mind and tells me uh, that you know it's not going to yank in any way and, and we don't want it to move since it's not. Even though I, I put pressure in there so that it, it would slide in real good, I don't want to. I don't want to worry about it and think maybe it'll move and eventually the system has to come back for repair or something. So far I haven't had any issues. I've installed quite a few of these. And I've been very lucky. So we're just soldering that C point. Again leave the wire in there so that the solder, the, the shielding just kind of burns off. There you go. So that, that is the installation of an NX Instinct version 6 on an OLED. I'm going to go uh, one step further and I'm going to plug it in for you guys so that you guys can see the light. I'm going to go ahead and dim the microscope camera so that you guys can appreciate it a little better. And we'll see what it, how it behaves. and. Uh, it should go orange and it should go purple and then eventually green if we if we the, if we did the installation properly and good and after that we, we install it we cover the chip up with some uh, captain tape and we go ahead and install it again i'll make a video about this later where you guys can see a, a better view of exactly what i'm doing so let's plug it in sometimes we need the battery let's see if we don't need it this time so is blinking orange, which is a good sign. Let's turn on the volume. The so we'll see that it's glitching. It's green, green, green. Should turn purple uh, shortly, and then green solid, and then turn off by itself. But it's acting really good so far. There you go, and now it's glitched. So we know that did, we did a good job. You, get, you guys can get this uh, service on our website at wayayeo.org. Or if you guys have any questions, I love what I do and I love to help. Give us a call or simply just email us or text us, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.